just speaking on Michael. We started out about Esau. Uh, how Esau knew. Basically, go to bed at night. Scriptures say while they sleeping on their beds, they devise wicked uh, imaginations against us and, and wicked mischief, man. And that's what they do. They always got some kind of schemes to destroy basically Israel, right? Now, I have an example of that. Uh, example of how they do. Now, I'm gonna go back to the, in, the, in the history to uh, go back in the history to the book of Esther. Esther in the history. I'll show you how Esau and them are always scheming to come against Israel. And how, and, and I, like I said, the scripture said in Psalms that everything they have imagined against us is based on backfire. And I'm going to show you the history of Esther, how it backfired on, on uh, the Edomites, man. They came against us with slander, right? We will press a man in his heritage. How they came against us with slander. Right? And how they tried to get us killed off and how it backfired on them. Right? And the wind is blowing, I know what that is. Satan. I'm gonna go into this history, Esther. through this whole third chapter, right? I'm gonna read it. This is Haman, the plot to destroy the Jews. Haman was a uh, Edomite, right? He was an Agite. It says, after these things did the king Ahasuerus promote Haman, Haman, the son of Hamadathia, the Agite, and advanced him at the set his, advanced him and set his seat above all princes that were with him. So he got rank above everybody. It says, and all the king's servants that were in the king's gates bowed and reverenced Haman. So they, they paid homage unto Haman. Haman, 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 Haman. For the king had so commanded concerning him, but Mordecai bowed not, nor did he reverence. Mordecai was Israelite, right? Was Esther's uh, uncle. It says, Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, While transgressest thou the king's commandment, what did Peter and them say? Uh, 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 what did Peter say? Let me show you what Peter said in Acts. What did Peter say in Acts? Fifth chapter. Acts the fifth chapter, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men, right? They said we ought to obey God rather than men, right? And what, and what did the Lord say? What did the Lord say in Exodus? He said this in Exodus, the 20th chapter. says, I am the Lord thy power which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house, out of, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, that thou shalt have no other God before me. So if you bow unto a man, you're, you're homage and paying homage like he's a God. But the, the power of your house said, don't bow to no man, right? Thou shalt not make anything, any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. 
For I am the Lord thy power, and in jealous power, visiting the iniquities of the father to the children, but to the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. So the Lord, the Lord's commandments is not to bow down to these men, right? Don't bow down to no men. Don't serve them, right? But but these people were bowing down, and I'm and it was it, it, Israelites also, man. It wasn't just Mordecai. He just stood up for the people. And it says, uh, it says, then the king's servants, which were at the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, why transgressest thou the king's commandments? Right? Because they were they were bowing down to that to their order. But the scriptures say, don't bow down. Right? It says, now it came to pass when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them that they told Ham Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, right? Whether his, his basically words would stand. And it says, for he had told them that he was a Jew, right? He was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. So he got mad when he didn't bow down to him. That's the same thing what's happening now, man. These Edomites, hey, they are furious that we out here pushing this word because they know we're pushing the word through the spirit power of by Shimmy Al-Shai that we're not gonna be bowing down to the customs of Babylon anymore. You know? They know we're gonna live by our true power and what he has, the customs of our power, what he's given us to do, man. These Edomites hate the fact that we out here pushing this truth, man. And it says, and when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Right? And it says, for they had showed him, showed him the people of Mordecai. Right? They they revealed the identity basically. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. So he wanted to destroy all, all of them because he knew, hey, if he don't bow down to me, guess what? He can have influence on the rest of them. Then that could be a big problem. Because they, they, knew, they knew our power. It's history on who our power was, man. You know? And it says, verse seven, in the seventh month, that in the month of the sun, which is Nisan is the uh, April, uh, April, uh, March, April, the month that we have uh, the Passover. In the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast her, that is a lot before Haman, from day by day and from month by month in the 12th month, that is the month of Adar, the month before the month of Nisan, which is the month before the Passover. And Haman said unto the king of Ahasuerus, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the providence of thy kingdom. He was talking about us, man. We dispersed, man. That's, that's once again telling you that the Israelites were dispersed among what, all nations. He told you that in uh, uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, that'd be a curse amongst us. Let me read that. That was going to be one of the curses that fell upon us. Deuteronomy 28-64 And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thy nor thy people have known, neither wood and stone. So you're gonna be serving different religions, different churches. And today, look at today. But our people, Mord Mordecai was just, hey, Mordecai was, the Lord put the spirit on him, say, hey, I'm not, I'm not uh, gonna bow down to the king. And our people were doing it. That's why I said you was gonna worship, worship them. Worship uh, their gods. Because our people was worship, worshiping, uh, uh, Haman, man. See, Mordecai represents the elect, man. And it says, uh, and, and it says, 
And Haman said unto the king, verse 8, Esther 3 and 8, to King Ahasuerus, that there is, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the province of thy kingdom. And their laws are diverse from all the people. Their laws are diverse, they're different from all the people because our laws come from the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The law stands in commandments of the Bible which he gave to Israel. When you read in Psalms 147 chapter, when you read Leviticus 26 and 46, it says, neither keep they the king's laws, therefore it is not for the king, the prophet, to suffer them. So let, he's saying, Hey, they ain't gonna follow your law. They gonna follow their own law. Look, ain't no use of keeping them around. We gotta get rid of them. They ain't doing us no good. Verse nine, if it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. And I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it unto the king's credit. So he gonna use some of his own money. Right, you gonna basically uh, today's day that will be hiring a hitman or hit men, you know. And it says, and the king took his ring from his hand and gave it to Haman, the son of Amalekia, the Agai, the Jew's enemy. So this Agai was an Edomite, the Jew's enemy. Right? There's nothing new under the sun. It says the Lord power changed not. So if he had an enemy of Israel then who was an Edomite, guess what? Today, it ain't changed. The Edomites are still the Israelites' enemy, man. They're still the ones that the earth is giving to, that they're keeping you uh, 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 down, man. You know? And it says, And the king said unto Haman, The silver is given to thee, the people also to do with them as it seemed good to thee. So do whatever you want to to them. Right? That's all he wanted to hear. You know? Because you know, you know them, them, them Edomites can come up with some way to, some terror or wrath, a way to kill you. And it says, verse 12, Then were the king's scribe called on the thirteenth day of the month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants, and to the governors that were over the, every province, to all the rulers of every people of every province, according to to the writings thereof to every people after their language in the name of King Ahasuerus was it written and sealed with the king's ring. So it was sealed with his ring, which is, was his signet. What they would do when the king had a ring, they would put the ring in like a uh, blood and they would, that would be his stamp. It says, verse 13, and the letters were sent by post to all the king's provinces to destroy and kill and to cause to perish all Jews. So they they got decreed to kill us, man. For all of them to kill us, man. And it says, so therefore, if the provinces are ruled by Elam, Elam was going to try to kill us. If it was ruled by Moab, Moab was going to try to kill us. That's why, man, all of y'all going to be under us in that day. And all y'all are our enemies, man. All y'all are gonna pay for what y'all did against the Israelites, man. You know, Esau being more because he orchestrated most of this, man. He gave us the worst captivity that we ever had. And it says, verse 13, and the letters were sent by post, right? By post, and to all kings' providence to destroy and kill and to put cause to perish. To a, it basically, it says annihilate. It was like, hey, do whatever, man. Let's get rid of it. It says, all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the 13th day of the 20th month, which is the month of Adar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. So they was like, they had a certain day. It was going to be uh, uh, a certain day that all hell was going to be breaking loose on, 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 uh, on the Jews, man. Negro, Latinos, and the Native Americans. Nation of Israel. They set aside a day for them to kill us all, man. Just come through and torture us, man. You know? And the king, he decided, he, 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 more than likely, he didn't even know what was written in the decree. Because he told Haman, do so as you please, man. So 
Hamlin, he probably didn't even know what exactly was written in it. He just gave Hamlin the, the, the go, you know? Which that, that wrath he had in hatred because the Israelite didn't bow down to him. So think what's furthermore, now we out here pushing his word. We tell it America's gonna be destroyed. Babylon's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Which said we prophesy against many kingdoms of war, evil, and pestilence, right? The Lord has sent, he has uh, sent uh, uh, pastors according to his own heart. We coming out here telling our people, speaking to them in the ears of the prophecy. We know Esau hated, man. Esau hate that. He's doing legislation right now to get us off the streets, man. But look again, if it be of men, it'll come to naught. But if it be the most high, you can't, you can't mess with it. Refrain and leave these men alone. That's what Gamaliel told the council. And when Peter and the apostles did. You know? And it says, verse 14, that's the 3 and 14. The copy of the writings for a commandment is given in every province as a published unto all people that they should be ready against that day. The post went out being hastened by the king's commandment and the decree was given to Shushan, the palace, and the king and him, uh, Haman sat down to drink. But the city of Shushan was perplexed, man, because it was all confusion, man. 